Hello my virtual friends, my name is Catherine, also known as Miss Blue, and welcome back to the whole story. In the last episode, we went through the most pun mar punnable market I've ever been to, so let's get back into it and deal with the fact that we are now somehow the queen. Or the princess, even, to be fair. To be more accurate. Alright then, so, oh yeah, we don't need you here. Okay then, so. Uh, oh yeah, it was K, J, and L we were working with today. Can I look at, can I leave? Ah yes, dearest Wendy. Hmm. I don't think I should try to leave yet. Maybe the princess wrote down what was going on somewhere. Like in a diary? Of course, okay then. Let's go and see. Uh, oh, there's a book up there. A big old purple book that's like as big as my everything, basically. Uh, okay. What have we got inside? Choice. Yes. Because I'm a snitch. Dear diary. I can't, no, that's not, that's not a good voice. <clears throat> Dear diary, I can't believe mum and dad really want me to marry Prince of the Hill. I can't stand him. He's so uptight and snotty. He even wears girdle buckles that are bigger than my head. I would never survive being married to him. If I can't convince them to call off the wedding, I might just run off into the forest and never come back. A life of absolute freedom with only a small chance of starvation. The only problem is I'd probably end up missing the riddle telling competition next week, hinted nudge nudge. Oh well, as much as I love riddles, I really hate the Prince of the Hill more. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, there's a big old chest down there I've just noticed as well, so let's go and have a go at that. This is interesting. Like, so we might be in partaking in that riddle festival by the looks of it. Alright, I can't... Can I click on it actually? No, okay. It's interesting. She has a lot of dresses. All pastel colours as well, almost. Nothing to say about them? Alright then, okay. So I suppose we can leave now since we've got all the information we need. Why would this door even lead out of a room? If they were so bothered about her, like, leaving, then they would just leave it there, wouldn't they? Looks like nobody's guarding this door outside. That's convenient. Time to make my escape. Really? I thought they would be guarding you like crazy. Uh, yes, let's go to the Royal Garden. Ah! Looks lovely. I can't dig anywhere, can I? All right, then I can just dig a hole. Sorry, I didn't mean to ruin your perfect garden. Don't worry about me. Don't look at me. Oh, there we go. Freedom! Escape into the woods for us. That was a lot easier than I thought it'd be. I thought we had to like go through six different guards for that, but nope, we're away. I wonder, oh, I don't know, maybe I should go back and see if that guy could say anything. Nah, probably nothing. Like, we don't want to get caught, so there's no point of actually going up to the guy. I would think. Ooh, there's a fox down there. An acorn. Hmm. I feel a puzzle coming on. Let's enter the house. Hello. There are a lot of things that scream to me in this uh, here scene. There's, of course, the picture of three burning Slendermans in the background. The Viking on the boat in the picture. Some nail polish for it looks like. Sunglasses, a choke collar. A uh, Viking picture, the spiky mirror. And, of course, the... Very big leather sofa on the right there. But of course, I know there's a unicorn there. That's, this, this is normal, apparently. Oh. Uh, appears from the shadowy depths. Why are you in my house? That's what a unicorn sounds like. Ah! Oh, a unicorn! And a talking one of that! I'm sorry, barging in like this, rather, it's rather rude of me. I was just, um... Feeling a bit lost, I'm looking for, for some help, Mr. Unicorn. Yes! That's exactly it, oh dear. Have I broken the game? Oh no! Ah, it's too early in the episode for breaking the games now. I already broke Vincent yesterday, okay. It's a unicorny corn to you, oh lord, oh lord, okay. Oh, I am sorry, sir, unicorny corn. Oh, finally, someone got it right. Usually they grouch or fuss about cute and adorable. Why? Oh my, never, never. Well, I'm either. Well, I'm not either of those things. I'm a man. I'm manly. And I demand to be treated as such. Stomps. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I am the eldest son of Sir Rainbow Sherbet Sprinklebottom, and I deserve to be treated with the respect befitting of such a proud lineage. Yes. A very manly and respectable name indeed. Now, what will you be doing here? Are you on a quest? Since you actually got my name right, I am willing to help you. As long as it's not a side quest, there's a band, you know. 
Actually, yes, I am on a quest. The main one. I'm looking for a lost princess Alona. Why do we have to find her? I thought we wanted to go home at this point, Wendy. Go on now. We don't have to be selfless all the time. Do you have any idea where she might be? Looking for Alona? You're Alona. Every soul in the kingdom knows your face. You'll have to try harder if you want to fool me. Do I really look that much like her? No, you have different colored eyes. Yes. Yes, you do. Because I... But I'll believe that you're not a loner, only because the royal family member would know better than to argue with a unicorn. You're lucky I'm so lenient. Well, I just need to find her and get this whole situation figured out. Do you know anything about where she is? Hmm, yes. I'll put in a cricket sound effect. Well... Ah, patient. I require payment, you know. Well, I'm afraid I don't have much on me, apart from what I stole and then ate. I don't think pictures of old men are worth as much much here as where I come from. Fine, you can just find something for me. Alright, what do you need? I require something brown and sticky. Is it a stick? Okay, is that all? Yep, a bird stole it from me a few days ago. Said something about needing to be rid of a spider infest infestation. I need it back. And I'll be here when you get back. Run along now and get searching. What the bloody hell did I just go through here? Okay. You talk about this collar or this mirror, the sunglasses? You're a cool unicorn, aren't you? And I'm stuck. Oh, no. Oh, am I genuinely stuck? Okay, good. No, okay. Oh, my gosh. I was so afraid there. Because I'm not saved, actually. I should do that thing. Uh, no. I? Wait, shit. There you go. Save? Oh, yeah, there was music in the game. They just turned it off for some reason when I booted up the game. And I didn't notice when I was in the menus. All right, then. There's an acorn here. Get out of here, mouse. Also, the black bars seem to vanish from the side. Oh, I don't know. Anyway. Okay. Alona probably had a falling out with Prince name. Much like his pinecone did with this tree. Yes, it fell, it well, had such an argument that it fell over five feet away. Hello, little fox. What is a fox's face? Don't you say it. It's not that. What is the fox trot? Oh, okay. That's actually okay. That's fine. I thought you were going to say that's heathenous dance. Oh, good. We can just cross the road. I thought we were going to do that puzzle that everyone goes on about. Oh, dear. I thought the puns would end at the market, but nope. Oh, how they continue. Oh, how they ever are. How are they ever are, honestly. There's a spider's web here. There's Mrs. Muffet in there as well. Nope, there's a bunch of stones here. Can I just dig? Will I find anything? Oh, a stick. All right. I imagine we couldn't go much further if we didn't have the quote-unquote stick, so... Let's bring it back to Mr. Unicorn. Or Mr. Unicorn? Corny? I can't remember you. Now on you're just Corny Collinson at this point. You're exactly that. Okay. Hello. I bought you a stick. I'm back. Wave stick around. I don't have a stick. So imagine it's there. <laughs> oh, my precious stick. Take, st take stick and the... Mm. Totally ignoring Wendy for a few minutes. Uh, well, I haven't got time to act that. Ahem. <clears throat> Sir Unicornicorn, so where might I find Alona? She hangs out a lot with a friend who lives somewhere east of here. Look for the lake. Leave me alone now, would you? Sticky and I need some quality bonding time. <laughs> oh, of course. Thank you. Let's go. Hurry. All right. Whoa, hello. Whoa, okay, that's different to everything that's coming on so along so far. I'm moving on my own. Okay. Hey, Charlie. Charlie, wake up! Yeah, Charlie, you silly sleepyhead, wake up! So there's voice acting now, okay. Uh, oh god, you guys. This had better be pretty freaking important. Did Sir Unicornicorn set the meadow on fire again? Again? <laughs> Yo, Charlie, we found a map to Candy Mountain. Candy Mountain, Charlie, yeah, Charlie, we're going to Candy Mountain. Come with us, Charlie. Yeah, Charlie. It'll be an adventure. We're going on an adventure, Charlie. What is that? Did I take some acid before this? Texas, did you slip me something? Yeah, Candy Mountain, right. 
I'm just gonna, you know, go back to sleep now. No! Charlie! You have to come with us to Candy Mountain! Is this a reference to something I'm just really not getting it? Uh. Okay, right then. Let's just move on, shall we? Did he even tell us where she went? I can't remember. Like, uh, I don't know. This game just gets stranger and stranger. Oh, hello. Can I just walk the river? I can. Okay, good. Your mom's not very effective. I can literally just waltz onto it. Okay. Oh, it's a lake, apparently. Oh. Hi, another unicorn with a very unicorn-esque room. <clears throat> hello, are you manly sort of unicorn-y con too? No, we just met him. He was blue. God's sake, Wendy. Unglitter sparkle heart. Alone. Uh, let's see. Alone and my brother and I are nothing alike. And you know it. You should know by now that my name is Unglitter Sparkle Heart. I've told you not to talk to him. Stop fooling around. Even te and tell me why you're here this time. I don't have all day. I have a manicure schedule in a few hours. Ugh. Well, naturally. <laughs> don't you mean pedicure? I mean, aren't your hooves your... Oh, never mind. Sorry to disappoint, but I'm actually not a loner. I just happen to look like her. Can you help me find her? Oh, a quest. That's not his voice. Oh, a quest. I simply adore quests. Oh, man. <clears throat> I do love doing voices. Only the most noble and selfless of heroes and heroines, of course, embark on a strange and difficult adventure to seek that which their hearts desire. Only with persevering spirit and tenacity can they ever... Wait, alone is missing? Why didn't you mention that earlier? <sighs> yes, alone is missing. Do you think you can help me? Why, of course, it's so romantic. <laughs> You're looking for the lost princess. Yes, can you help me? Hmm, you know, Alona left me something in the last time she came here. Let's see if I can remember where I put it. It seems to be missing. Actually, I'm missing a lot of stuff, like my pink hoof polish, or was it the lavender bottle? I can't remember, of course. I lost it which one- I lost and which one I gave it to my cousin. Little cousin, I can't read. I'm sorry. I'm having a-, a just, uh, My brain is not working. I can't seem to remember these things. Let's see. What did Alona tell me? She said something that gets wetter as it dries a towel. Hmm, no. This guy- that can't be right. That's in the Hobbit. Maybe it's a clue referring to an object you left somewhere. Oh, silly me, of course it is. Alona did love to tell riddles. I went sunbathing on the beach after she left. There's a, the afternoon sun always seems to wipe my memory. The, the timing of that uh, harp flow there was nice. Well, feel free to scout it around to see if you can find it. Who knows, you might find something else I lost. <laughs> okay, it's a towel, I know that. Uh, I remember watching a interview with Martin Freeman and a couple other people. And they got asked riddles by the interviewee, the interviewer, even. It's very good, and they, and one, and that one was one of them. It was a towel. And Martin Freeman swore a lot, <laughs> which I found hilarious. Cause I'd never known him to swear that much. Anyway, even though he's like does it a lot apparently. Or as I can, as I've seen, past and present. What do you call a fish wearing a bow tie? So fish decayed. <laughs> I actually laughed at it because I didn't. I have not heard that one before. Do you have a pun for each of these? Because I had no idea this was a pun game. I'm feeling... Oh, no, you're not. I'm not even going to give the dignity of reading that one. <clears throat> All right, what have we got? What have we got to say about the seaweed? Is it going to be a funnel pun? You're not going to... Okay, fine. You're not going to say anything. Good. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> oh, this is going so well today. How are you, Ollie? Doing good? Oh. So a unicorn mentioned Alona hung out behind the lake, by the, fuck off, Jesus. <sighs> Brain, you want to work for me today? I should really thoroughly investigate everything that's here first. Okay, right, got ya. Right, so, he wanted a towel, didn't he? There must be one nearby. Uh, what about this bucket? Got any puns to say about that? Nope, okay then, great. Uh, there's a dam over here. By the looks of it. Hmm. I have no idea then, let's see. Oh, can I, oh yeah, I could probably just dig for one actually, that's where, that seems like to be the ex machina of this game. Yeah, I dug up a towel, oh my gosh. What are the chances? All right, then let's go give it back to Sir on Glitter, uh, Fickle, fickle Horn, I don't know. Yep, okay. Hello, Sir, have your towel. 
I found it! It was a towel hiding under the sand. Oh, my towel! My main care routine has been too difficult to... Without the proper towel. Drapes tower over herself. Successfully, or not. Wait, is that a map on the towel? What? <laughs> of course! Look, here's my house, and here's the lake, and here's the path that takes you down the fork in the road. Oh, the fork! Aluna always said she, want, she wanted to visit... What was it? Oh, maybe the ocean cliff. Or maybe she said the forest, but it might have been the forest cliff. But it also could have been... <clears throat> well, well, thank you. I'll wander down that way. That away. Uh, have a nice mani petty, whatever. Wait! Before you go, I have something for you. It's no lavender nail polish, but it's still... It's, it's still pretty out of this world, I guess. Fairy dust. <laughs> Thanks, you've been very... kind. It's no problem at all. Have a good adventure. Don't get lost. Be careful. Succeed. Look both ways. Bye. I'm going to go now. <laughs> Never coming back to this house again. Okay. Right, the fork road. So we have like three different areas to go here. So let's start with the bottom and go work our way up. Oh, a stick. I, wow, a twig! Hey, it's brown and sticky! Why are you so terrified of that? Your eyes, woman! Honestly. Okay, then. Oh, there's a spider over here. Can I look at it? Or is it a tick, actually? Either way, don't... Okay, we shouldn't probably approach it. Alright. Grab another stick. Oh, another twig! Oh my god, you're so excited about that! Alright, then. So, yeah, let's head down. See what we can see. There's many a crow and spider around these here woods. I don't know why, but I want to pick up every single stick now just to see her eyes just burst out of her head like that. It's so crazy. Okay, let's move on down. Oh, there's a ladder to that tree. Would you like to enter the Dryad's house? Alright. Hi! You're, you look relatively normal. Oh my god, what are you doing trampling over my precious vegetables like that? Can a Dryad grow a gardening piece? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean... Uh, wait, what garden? I spent all winter burying my precious fruits and vegetables all over this world, and you just been walking right on top of them? Oh my god. <laughs> How will they get the rest they need to grow with you knocking, up, knocking about all the top of their heads all the time? Oh, no, please. Can I try to make it up to you? I don't want to upset your plants. Hmm, <laughs> fine. You can do me a favor, but only because us dryers are known for our kind spirits. You're lucky that I need help preparing my dinner today. My recipe calls for something that stands on one leg with its heart in its, he or in its head. Unfortunately, I accidentally buried it instead of bringing it home after I went to the fruit and vegetable stand at the farmer's market. Okay, that was my best accent ever. I love it. Okay, uh, dig, did you say? Let's dig for it. Okay, we won't then. All right, then. Let's just carry on. Oh, is that a squirrel? Hi! Can I speak to your king? <laughs> Why was the squirrel late to sc Okay, I'm probably gonna not to talk to any of the animals now because of all the bloody puns. Because traffic was nuts. Ah ha 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 ha. Yes, okay. Good, good, Wendy, good, good. Oh, hello. Keep out, or off, technically, there's a bridge. Hi, are you the troll from the bridge? Arr, nobody crosses my bridge without payment. I need some shinies and something that has a foot but no legs. Until you get those, go away. All right then. Uh, right. Let me just write down a couple of these uh, rhymes, for, riddles even. In fact, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, okay then. Let's get back onto this. Uh, I asked her again just to make sure, and she pretty much just told me. So it's a snail and gold we need actually. Okay, a boot. Where's the other shoe? On the other foot probably. All right, there's a, oh, there's a dead bird over there. Oh, it's a shame. A bird in the hands were two in the bush. What well, about one bird in the ground? It's worth nothing. I have no idea. Speaking of, let's dig. You find anything? Nope, okay. Right. Music, where have you gone? Why do you keep doing that? Oh, so, okay. Let's save game, actually. Now, that's a sensible idea. I haven't done that in a while. There we go. The music center just turns itself off and I don't notice half the time. Alright, so let's see. We have all that up there, so. Stands on one leg, but it has its heart in its head. Hmm. Oh, that's true. Oh, like, oh, could I just ask her and then get the answer? Is that a thing? Is this what you needed for your recipe? <gasps> you dug that out of the ground? No, 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 I can't eat that. Ugh. <sighs> I never sh should have gone to that fruit and vegetable stand at that silly farmer's market. 
Maybe then I wouldn't have to cooperate with noisy mammals like yourself. Don't forget I'm looking for something that stands on one leg with its heart in its head. Alright, so you didn't give away the answer immediately, but the other one did. Alright. Okay, so technically I can leave the area, so let's carry on up this way and see what's, what's up the other path, in fact. Hmm. Not sure what to think about this game so far. Like, I like I like it, but then it's like... So the puns sometimes just get the better of me sometimes. Oh, there's fish bones down there. Uh, do you have something to say about this rock? An eggs ellant source of calcium. Ah ha 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 ha. That kind of thing. It's just like, yeah, they're funny to begin with. Now it's just getting old. Hello, sir. Dirt! I need more dirt! I want to literally roll in my riches and become filthy rich. Shuffle closer. Do you have any for me, young lady? Uh, no. My hands are quite clean, thank you. Hmm. Well then, if you ever want a shiny bit, if you ever want the shiny bits, I have some, but you need to bring me some dirt. I'll trade you gold for ten piles. Ten? Why would you just give out gold like that? Eh, gold isn't that great. Doesn't even have any chocolate in it. Gold without chocolate might as well just be tin foil. But you can buy gold with... Oh, never mind. You can buy chocolate with gold, even. <clears throat> well, that makes sense, I guess. I'll see what I can do. Great! See you soon! Hands on the pail. <laughs> and goes back. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna dig now. Alright then. Dirt. More dirt. Okay, I'm gonna have to dig around your house ten times. Let's get that done then. Ah, ten piles of dirt. Thank you for bringing me all that. I'm glad to see another digger who doesn't take dirt for granite. Granted. The word is granted. All right. You find yourself with more time on your hands. I've got some sweet kicks I can trade for you for 20 more piles of dirt. Where's my accent going? I don't know. They'll really speed up this adventure if you've got going on. Anyways, here's your gold as promised. Uh, yeah, I know my Scottish is showing chop. Anyway, let's go down this path. Right, so we have the gold that the troll wanted. Oh, we're back here. Okay, right, so... Stand someone like has a heart in his head? Ah, uh, I don't know. It's probably not a creature, actually. Oh, that's probably why he wants more dirt, actually. Shovel's broken. Can I take that, actually? Uh, oh, okay. Okay, oh, I know I can't dig here, Jesus. Okay. There's, okay, I can't go in his house. All right. Huh. Hmm. How do we do at this point? Okay, I couldn't find the snail, but I talked to this guy again, and uh, I'll explain the fact that I dug up his entire the entire cliffside in a second. He wanted more dirt, so I gave him some, and then he gave me a, a what's it called? Oh jeez, he gave me shoes that made me walk fast, which is nice. And now he's promised to just tell me about his secret project if I gave him thirty bits, and I had one hundred and eighty. So yeah. Uh, bring me that. As promised, I'll let a little, my little secret project. I built an island with all this dirt you've been digging. Okay, sure. I let's see it. Sure. Do you have a snail on the island? Oh, hello. People, hello people. Can't speak to any of you. The lot is here. Also, I did not dig up this much dirt for you. I did, like, tiny holes. None of you can talk to me. Do any of you have a snail? Oh, hi, Karen. I'm a very quiet person. You just have sensitive ears. Yes, okay. Never forget your towel so long. And thanks for all the fish. Uh, dirt. Okay, is this the end of the game? I thought this was longer. Hang on. Hi, I'm really forgetful. I seem to have lost my iPod. Hashtag trademark. Not sponsored. All that stuff. I'd really appreciate if you could get it back for me. Oh, okay. I thought this might be the end of the game for a second. I was like, this is all like the credits of the people working here. Or, uh, I just talked to you. No, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, uh, you. Excuse me, trying to listen to music. Did you steal her iPod? <laughs> you like dirt? Cause I'm totally digging it. Ah ha ha ha. Yes, yeah, the joke from the first episode. Hey Wendy, what's up? Hi Sam Lee. Remember, reality is an illusion. The universe is a hologram. Buy gold, buy. It's not an illusion. It's probably not. Well, probably not. That's so perfect. I ship it so hard. Yeah, I think we're going through just Tumblr at this point. No more bug reports. All right, sorry. Okay. This is really all there is. I'm needing. I need a snail here, guys. I don't need whatever you're talking about. All right, then I suppose that'd be it for us all now. Let's get back on the boat, I guess. Right, are you still there? Yeah. Okay. 
Do you have anything else to say? Because if you got a snail, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, not right now, no. Well, I didn't. Oh, I'm not pressing anything. Whoa, okay, that, was, that wasn't important because I did not see that for anything. Right then, so after that experience, I guess, let's go back to hunting, I suppose. Oh, here we go. Okay, got it. Yes, thank you for my cabbage. You're, the better, you're a better headhunter than I thought you'd be. I suppose you may continue on your way now, like I did before. Also, because I feel like you've gone really far out of your way to make up for all the noise, I wanted to give you a present. It's a snail. Goes great with salt. Thanks, babe. I'm gonna go now and give it to a troll who's probably gonna eat it or something. Hello. I have a golden snail. No, gold and snail. Gold and snail. There you go. Oh, oh my gosh. This is great. Thank you so much. Can I go now? Can I get past, please? Oh, it's you. Would you mind leaving? And just strolling through. I thought I'd get out of your hair lickety split. Thank you. Expecting a guest in a very overworked sphinx. It's embarrassing enough facing her after losing my title of punter of the month without having one of the, the sources of my downfall just lounging about all nonchalant like. I held that title for six straight months, you know. Oh wow, those awards and plaques must are always so dashing. I'm very, very sorry. I'm going to go on my way now. Can I not go across the damn bridge? Oh, I can. Okay, I'm just going to walk past her. Sorry. Didn't mean to be a dick. Okay. Whoa. Hello, aspect ratio change plus music being not on. There we go. It does that sometimes, it just turns off for no reason, like when I change place and oh, it's all wintry now. Can we dig up something? Nope, okay, hi, bonies. Gonna make a bone joke? Is it, oh, is this where Bambi's mum went? No, 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 Wendy, it's fine. Don't worry about it. That, oh, there's a cave over there. Uh, just drop it, drop it, don't say anything. Hello, did you murder someone or is that just your spare cloak? Hi. Hi, oops, hi. I didn't mean to try and dig on you. You're uh, uh, all creepy and alone like in here because I'm desperate, I'll ask you too. Have you seen the princess? Actually, I'm the princess, but seriously, how can you, how can that be the first question you ask? We look identical. How does that not stand out to you? No, we don't. Have you seen our character portraits down there? They're totally different. So how's it going? Want to fill me in on why you bailed on the fancy digs? Ha 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 ha, digs. I was bored of being the princess. Always busy, never having any fun. And my parents want me to marry someone I don't love who, by the way, has some very questionable taste in girdles. Why are you obsessed with that? Jesus, woman, he's a man. He can have his own interests. God damn it, honestly. <clears throat> so if you're interested, <clears throat> there's a princess opening. Why can't I speak today? Why don't you go and put in an application? You, uh, look the part. I don't come from this time. I literally got transported here. It seems I've already got the job. Your parents think I'm you and are set on marrying me off. I can't be married. I have to go home. There's a cake. I have to go home and eat my cake. Yes. Cake? Really? I love cake. Well, no, not really. The cake's, the cake's a lie. Aha! References! But you're, be but you're being a bit unfair, don't you think? <clears throat> Well, I guess you're you're right. It is a bit mean for me to make you take on that burden. All right, then let's go back to the palace. Hold on, just because you're you're right doesn't mean I'm going back to let you take me back. Well, this sucks. It's been the worst day ever. Look, I've had no sleep. I've dug about two million holes, about forty. <clears throat> Everyone keeps asking me riddles and making worse puns than my grandmother. You make those puns. Don't you start, Wendy. You make enough of those puns as well. Not just the market people back there. You made a plenty of pun yourself. And I'm pretty sure that cheese I stole earlier was rotten. Can you please cut me some slack? Is there anything I can do to get you to help me? Anything at all? Um, well, I see your point. There is one that riddle that's been confusing me. Oh, no. <laughs> I've lost my title as reigning riddles champion because of it. I actually was kind of hoping... Hoping this empty, creepy, terrifying cave would inspire me. As they all seem to do. How about this? If you figure it out, I'll go back with you. Here it is. What gets bigger the more of it you take away? Oh god, that's a really like popular one, isn't it? Are you serious? Yes? Oh my god, fine. I'll do anything to get out of this place. So something is bigger the more you take away, huh? Any helpful hints? No, I'm sorry, but I'll tell you that standing in this cave doesn't help me at all. At all. Maybe you should go dig a hole or whatever for inspiration. 
So what gets bigger as you take it? Oh, it's a freaking hole. That's exactly what it is. You dig. That's exactly it. I knew it. That's it. What? Talking to the holes. Right. Of course. Why is everyone so obsessed with apples here? Okay, talk. Oh gosh darn it, popsicle, lollipops, moon pies. That is the biggest sugar coating of swearing I've ever heard. My foot is stuck in this hole. Wait, it's only deep enough for my foot to fit because I took out so much dirt. That's the answer. Oh my God, plus there's a lot of bats up there I just noticed as well, just to distract you all. It's a hole, okay, it's a stupid hole. That's your answer. Oh wow, that's great, I can't believe you got it. I guess it's only fair that I help you to get, I help you now besides us riddle champions have to stick together. What's your name anyways? Wendy, can we please go back now? Please. Well, I don't really want to, but honestly, I feel better leaving this place too. Let's get out of here before the, ba the bandits get us. Bandits? Really? Well, hopefully it's just a rumor. Come on, let's go. If any bandits show up, I swear to God. <laughs> Are they all outside? Well then. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it, there's bandits outside. Well, look what we have here. Are you two twins? You look tasty. Hey, dude! Leave us alone. Not a chance. You're coming with us. We've been mighty hungry. You're legit. Okay. We've been mighty hungry in the past few days. Your kidneys will taste nice with some seasoning. Eh, ah, ah, ah. That's my best evil chuckle. <clears throat> Whoa, chill out, Bandit One. I think that's more than a little extreme. I mean, we only ran out of supplies a few hours ago. We're gonna, we're going to your grandma's for dinner later. You'll ruin your appetite. Okay. <laughs> you know what this room is? A store room. Ah. This is where the villagers will keep their food until they're ready to eat it. Ah, 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 ah. Seriously, Bandit One, this cannibalism stuff is getting out of hand. You're not even menacing at this point, just creepy. Oh, bother. I'm scared, Alona. Why do we have to come here in the first place? Why did I even? Oh, oh, I know what to cheer you up. What if we told riddles to pass the time? How about this one? Alona, I swear to God, riddles are just as bad as puns for me right now. I went into the woods and got it. I sat down to, I sat down to seek it. I brought it home with me because I couldn't find it. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> A splinter, I suppose. I guess doing riddles is better than imagining my impending seasoning. Besides, I've heard this one. It's a splinter. Oh, right. Okay, fine. How about this? Oh, I've got a 50-50 chance at this point. I'm part of the birds that's not in the sky. I can swim in the ocean yet remain dry. What am I? Probably the wind, yeah. The wind? No, it's a shadow. Oh, I'm sorry, Jesus. No legs have I to dance, no lungs have I to breathe, no life have I to live or die, yet I do all three. Uh, probably the wind, actually. Oh, right. Skeletons don't breathe. Fire. Wow, well, you're good. Do you like solving riddles? No, I hate them. It's just, ugh. They seem to be popping up whether I like them or not. Yes, exactly, that's it. I mean, I don't mind riddles in real life, but it's just like when I can't get one and they tell me the answer, I feel so stupid. I hate feeling stupid. But riddles are amazing. They get your brain to think and push your intelligence stat through the roof. What else would you do with your spare time? Play video games or dig a hole as you want, like. Well, digging holes isn't gonna get you out of here this time. Our hands are tied up here. Gee, thanks for that bit of information. Couldn't have never seen that myself. Got any useful ideas or your brain too full of riddles to actually think properly? Wait, do you smell that? It smells like smoke. You're right, there is smoke. I think while I've been standing here, the candle's been burning through our ropes. Quick, let's get out of here while we can. Okay then, let's uh, hold, let's put a little pause on that one here. Let's uh, save the game. And uh, end that there. So. We found Alona, we brought her back, and in the next episode we shall see what madness comes from that because we were almost kidnapped and eaten by bandits, so... This is certainly an interesting game, that's for sure. And the unicorn stuff earlier, I almost forgot about that actually, uh, was completely like left field. Like, the, the fact that they were there wasn't the left field part, it was the fact that there was sudden voice acting and weird character models in there, that was the weird part, but... I don't know. Either way... Let's end the episode there. We'll continue onwards and bring Alona back in the next one. So thank you all so kindly for watching and hope to see you in the next one. See you later.